the Yumadigi U Watch 2. Uh, welcome back, everybody. This is Dread Tech Reviews, and I'm going to be reviewing uh, just the U Watch 2 today. I'm showing these two next to each other just for like, a comparison so you can kind of can get um, like a good idea of how it works compared to the other two. Um, this one does have a couple more features than both of these, um, but that doesn't necessarily make it better. Uh, so let's go over it real quick just so you guys can get a quick little view. Um, I'll do a comparison video where I actually go in depth on each one of these three with positives and negatives and how I feel each one compares to the other and which one I would purchase if I was just viewing you know the the video now and not owning all three of the watches so real quick here this is the gear s2 the xiaomi me Mi, me sorry the xiaomi uh me band 4 and then the umidigi u watch 2 um we're gonna get right into it so i don't waste y'all's day here uh we're gonna do the heart rate monitor first make sure you guys can see everything Forty six is a little off. All right, so let's try this one more time. I don't think I had it on there quite right. So it's 61, 65, and 65. And we'll do one more here. Oh, get this in view here so y'all can see. 73. I was talking and moving, so that probably messed it up. 68, 67. So 67 and 67. So these two tend to be a little more even uh, than this one was being. Um, I've used this one for a long time and it tends to be pretty accurate, but I think I might just be a little sweaty right now. Uh, it's kind of warm and humid outside. Um, so let's go ahead and put these two to bed for a sec and then let's bring out the blood pressure monitor. I'm going to do three. Uh, measurements of this one so you guys can get a view about how steady it is um, I do I should probably stop talking well I guess we'll talk for the first one and see how well it works for quiet for the second two um, so I, I donate plasma twice a week so I, I get my blood pressure taken twice a week and uh, it's usually very average very not average very um consistent it's always right around like 115 120 or so and then um, the second number afterwards is usually between 70 and 80 so I'm very consistent with my blood pressure there and uh, it's always right about the same thing um, I guess that's what consistent means <laughs> um, so that one was 114 over 72 so that's pretty average on par with where I normally am One ten over seventy one, and then we'll do one more. <sighs> Try to get all nice and relaxed for it. Now. 
121 over 74. Um, the second number was very accurate. That was the, within a couple numbers each. And the top one was varying a little bit. Um, as you can see, though, with the past few measurements I've done, they've all been fairly even and fairly accurate. Um, uh, I've done testing for this one for the past few days, and every time I've taken the, my blood pressure, it's always been right about there. So um, I wouldn't use this as like a medical device or like a professional medical device to make sure that like you know your your blood pressure medication is doing what it's supposed to. Um, I would use an actual medical device for that. But if you're just trying to lower your blood pressure because you you're just you're prone to high blood pressure and you just you're just trying to keep your own health in mind, um, I I wouldn't you know shy away from at least trying this out to see if it worked for you. Um, Thirty bucks is, is pretty good for a watch that offers a blood pressure monitor when most of that medical stuff is, is incredibly expensive. Um, as far as the O2 one goes, we'll just go ahead and measure this one here and uh, we'll do a couple comparisons like maybe if I hold my breath for a minute uh, and test it and then if I hyperventilate and test it it might kind of change it. So let's try that out real quick. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to hold my breath but I'm going to hold it all the way out. Alright, 97. All right. I mean, I don't know how fast this works, so let's... Let's hyperventilate and see if I can change that at all. I don't know, 1%. I don't know how big of a difference that makes. Um, that's uh, The O2 sensor is not something I'm going to use very much, if at all, because I don't really have like a need for it. Um, I mean, at the moment, anyway, there's no real need for me to have an O2 pressure or O2 monitor. Um, I use the blood pressure one just out of curiosity, just to see kind of where mine's at here and there, and I, I try to compare its accuracy with the accuracy of the medical machine when I donate plasma, and they tend to be pretty even, um, but it's not something, again, that I use. It's not something that I would purchase a watch over um, unless I, sometime in the future, develops uh, an issue and uh, that I should be monitoring it every day or, or constantly. Um, I don't even use the heart rate one all the time unless I'm actually exercising. Um, I mostly use them for counting steps and for... Uh, getting notifications and, and checking the time and just having that watch piece on my hand itself. This one looks really nice. That's why I got it. It feels nice on the, on the wrist. This one's the same way. Um, they all feel nice on the wrist minus the, the watch band, which uh, annoyingly the silicone watch band for the U, uh, the Umidigi U2, this piece broke off, not broke off, but the little bar in between is a just a spring bar. And if this catches on literally anything, like my clothes, uh, and the side of a table, it plinked off the little attachment here, and so I can't attach it to the watch anymore. I can attach it to the watch, but I can't clasp it anymore unless I can figure out where that little metal bar went, because it, it's gone. I don't know. But when we got... Uh, when we when we lost it, um, I just switched back over to the metal band, so I guess I'm glad that... Uh, that that was given to me um, by them, so that's pretty cool. Uh, when it comes to comfort, um, though a silicone band was much more comfortable, this one's easier to put on, it's quicker, you just slap it on there and you're good to go. Um, if I can find the bar though, I am going to switch back to the silicone one. Uh, got distracted by a little bird over here, so I forgot what I was saying. Um, for features real quick, you got the messaging, weather, actually the weather's cool. Oh, I'm not connected to the Bluetooth on there, I guess. Um, I was earlier, but the weather's pretty cool. Um, it tells me, it tells me the weather where I'm at. I was comparing it with these two. Um, when I set up the watch again to this thing, uh, I can go to the weather on the Mi Band here. Oh, see, I must, my Bluetooth must be off or something. Um, yeah, so it shows me the weather. Uh, I haven't checked the messaging one yet because that's why I'm getting a new watch in the first place is because this one, when it's connected to my phone, I can't send messages, which is, it's, it's a little irritating, but 
because that's why I bought it in the first place. Now my only option is to just open it in the app. And I think that's just because it's not a Samsung phone, so it doesn't integrate as well. But, you know, whatever. So, you know, we're, we're moving on from that. Um, uh, this one's got the shutter, so you can connect it to your phone and, and use it to take pictures and, and record video, which is pretty cool. And then you can control your music. Player. So it's got a couple of cool features. Um that come with a $30 watch that you don't normally see in the really cheap watches, uh, like the blood pressure monitor and the O2 and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions about this, please feel free to ask them down below. Um, I've used it for a few days, so I feel like I'm somewhat knowledgeable on how the watch works. Um, changing watch faces on this watch absolutely sucks. Um, yeah, if you're going to buy this watch, I would just be happy with the ones that they send you because moving to a new watch face is really inconvenient because you've got to like go into the files and move stuff around. And it's, it's not really worth the time to change a watch face. I don't think I'm going to go through all that work. Um, this one was much easier even though it's still kind of a pain because you can only change a couple of them or change one at a time. And The, the Samsung watches, it's so much easier because you literally just hold it and those are all the watch faces I've downloaded. So, in terms of simplicity and, and ease of use, these two are not when it comes to changing watch faces. Because um, even if here I go to more, and then, oops, I go to more, and then I go down to band display, I got one, two, three, and uh, I mean, I only got three on this one, and if I want to change it, I have to go into the app too. So, uh, I'll show you guys the reviews on those and, and, and we'll go in the comparison video and I'll show you kind of how to do that maybe on, on both of the watches. But uh, for 30 bucks, I can't complain about this watch. Um, it's not the most technically high-end watch because they did use a square LCD screen inside of like a nice big round face that I feel like they could have used more of. Um, I, I appreciate the nice round look that like the Gear S2 has uh, over the square look that this one has because that, that lowers the quality in my opinion just in terms of visual um, quality so I wouldn't want to pay as much for something if I wasn't getting all of the area I'm using. Um, the positive though is this one's got like two buttons and everything. This one, no buttons. That's really cool. So if they could just incorporate a full screen display into this and uh, and increase the quality of their bands and how they connect to the watch itself, you'd have a killer watch. Like, I'd, I'd pay 50 bucks or, or more for for a watch if they used the full display and gave me, like, a nice quality band. Um, but as it sits, 30 bucks for the stuff that it offers, yeah, I mean, can't complain. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that pretty much sums up what I was going to go over with the watch here. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any concerns or if you want me to go over any more details or features of the watch itself in the comparison video, please let me know. Or if you want me to do another video uh, going into all of the features of this, let me know. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, uh, subscribe to, to my channel if you want to see more content and like the video if you like the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and you have a wonderful day.